Good morning, everyone. It's Wednesday morning, and um, I wanted to hop on here because um, and do this live video. And I've only done, I think, one live video in this group, but um, someone mentioned something to me yesterday, and I thought, wow, I have got to talk to you guys about this. And this has nothing to do with makeup. This is not. It really, it doesn't have anything to do really with my business per se, um, but it has to do with a question that someone asked that I feel like a lot of you are wondering, and so I just needed to address that for me because I just needed to kind of address the elephant in the room and kind of get it out there. So this person says to me, her husband um, kind of kicked back in his chair and said, blah, blah which I'm not gonna mention her name, unless I accidentally do it and then I can't take it back because this is live. Um, blah, blah, why is Lori doing this business? And she goes, like, she responded that way because she wondered the same thing and she has had people ask her the same thing. And so I thought it was very, very important that I share this with all of you. And so I'm doing it live because I want it to be honest. I want it to be fresh. I don't want anyone thinking that I've rehearsed this or that I have um, edited it. And so I want to tell you my story and tell you the reason why I am doing this direct sales company. Um, and what's so funny, a lot of you are, that know me are going to know why he asked that question. Why is Lori doing this business? It's because my husband is an orthopedic surgeon. And people are probably wondering, she doesn't need the money. Why is she doing this business? Her husband is a doctor. They live in this grand house. They have this great lifestyle. Why is she doing this? This is crazy. Well, I want to tell you why I'm doing it. I'm not the orthopedic surgeon. That's my husband. That is his dream and that is his passion. And that's what he's wanted to do his whole life. That's not me. And it has nothing to do with me. Um, so in order for you to understand where I'm coming from and why I have been involved with several direct sales companies, I just kind of need to let you know where, where I'm coming from and sort of my background. And, um, the thing is I, um, was very, very young when I had my daughter. I was 16 years old. A lot of you don't know that. She's 30 now. And my dream in life was to be a model. <laughs> I think that's so funny. When I think about it now, I think it's hilarious. I was a very immature young girl. And um, I don't know, I had big dreams. That just sounded fun to me. I'm going to move to New York City and I'm going to be a model, right? I grew up in pageants because in my small town, that's all there was to do. I'm not kidding. That's what you did when you, grew, when you were in a small town like mine in Faraday, Louisiana. Or if you're from there, it's Faraday, Louisiana. I've lost the accent. Anyway, I grew up in pageants, and I so I've been around makeup since I was a young, young girl, and I've always loved makeup. Um, and so that made me want to be a model, okay? So that's all I thought about. And I wasn't great in school, and I did not make good grades. And um, because I didn't care about it, because I was going to be a model. I didn't care about grades. You don't have to be able to do math to be a model. But I met this boy and fell in love with him, and I got pregnant at 16 years old, and that pretty much, that pretty much took care of that dream, right? But that was okay because I loved kids, and I was a mother from the get-go, and all I wanted to do was be a mom from that point on. But what it meant for me was that I did not go to college. I didn't get a degree, you know? Um, what I did was I focused on getting a job with the government so that I could raise my daughter. And so I got a job at the post office and I worked there for 10 years. I thought, man, I'm set. I've got a government job. I've got great insurance. You know, I'm going to have a retirement. This is awesome. And I did that for 10 years. And then I met my husband, the orthopedic surgeon, you know, <laughs> and, um, he had two children that were four and six. Um, and I, we decided the best thing for me to do because he and their mother were super, super busy with their jobs. And I love you too, Neil. You can't make me, don't make me cry. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I quit 
my job at the post office to be a stay-at-home mom, and that was the best thing ever. And I loved it, and it was great. And, um, and I worked at my husband's office. Once the kids were in school, I worked at my husband's office and um, started learning a little bit about his profession, orthopedics. And after I, we had our son, I, my friend went into this company called Arbonne, and I saw how much fun she was having. Actually, a couple of my friends, and I saw how much fun they were having. And it wasn't the product, and it wasn't the money, and it wasn't the business. It was the friendships, and it was fun. And I thought, I want a piece of that. So when my son was eight months old, I joined Arbonne with them, and we had a blast. But that time, that company was super, super saturated. I mean, talking like everyone in Hendersonville was doing it. And so I didn't go very far with that business because it, 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 it hit, that ship had sailed, you know what I mean? But it was my first experience with direct sales, which was cool because I didn't know anything about direct sales. And so it gave me a little experience in that world of network marketing, and I really liked it. I really liked it. I thought it was pretty smart, right? And so then fast forward a few years and I stumbled upon Jamberry. Oh boy, did Jamberry was so much fun. But I found the same thing, that it was the friendships, it was the networking and the meeting the new people that I loved the most. Now, did I want to make a ton of money? Yeah, who doesn't? I mean, let's be honest. But it was the friendships that I created and cultivated through that business. But Jamberry turned out to be a fad. Not everybody likes to put little stickers on their nails, right? And that was great. And then Neil introduced me to Unique. And Unique was a blast. Oh my God, I finally found my niche, right? I finally found what I really truly loved and that was makeup. And I had the best time doing that business. And I was building a super, super, super successful business with that company when I stumbled, literally, you guys stumbled upon Limelight. And I call it serendipity because it is 100%, it's just, that is some, am I turning red? I think I'm turning red from just being nervous. Um, I call it serendipity because it's something that you accidentally stumble upon that can be beneficial to your life. And to me, it was a no-brainer because having the, um, having the experience in other network marketing companies, it gave me the knowledge and it gave me the um, recognition, I guess, to be able to recognize a good thing when I see it. And so I'm really, really thankful that I had the experience with those companies so that when Limelight came along, I recognized a good thing. It's a brand new company. The direct sales part's a brand new company, but the makeup has been around forever. So what do you do? I mean, you've got this brand new opportunity that you stumble upon that nobody in your area knows about. Nobody knows about this. And the makeup's a no-brainer. This is what Kim Kardashian wears. I mean, this is what the pros use. But you don't have to be a pro to use it. It just means it's the best makeup you can buy at a very affordable price point. So in the middle of my very successful business, I quit and I switched sides because, yes, I wanted to build a very successful business with this company um, and be the first to do it in our area. So actually... Um, that this is my passion. This is who I am. This is what I want to do. I think because I never got to go to school, to go to college, and I think because I never got a degree, I'm looking for maybe a certain amount of validation for myself. And this falls right into that category for me because it's something that I love to do. And I love to meet people and I love to share with people because that's what I'm doing. I'm just sharing these really great products with everyone. And um, so, why is the orthopedic surgeon's wife doing another direct sales company? I'll tell you why. It's because she found the one. This is powerful. This is something that has never come along before. I have never been able to get in on a direct sales company at the beginning, and I've done that now. So, what do you do when you find something golden? You want to tell your friends about it. You want to tell your family. You want them to have the same opportunity, right? So if you see me coming towards you, please don't ignore me. And if I send you a message to talk to you about this opportunity, please listen because you may not want to do it. It may not be your thing, but what if it is, right? 
what if this is it? And I believe that it is. So that's why I'm doing it. Those of you who know anything about medicine know that medicine has gone like downhill. You know the reimbursements aren't great. You know, Carrie, you want to try it? It's fantastic. It is awesome. But you know what, if you're in that field, you're, you know what, um, how, how reimbursements are. Doctors are not getting paid what they used to. They're not retiring the way they used to. What's my goal? Ultimately, my goal is to, to cultivate this business and grow it so that I can retire my husband, so that he can retire early. That's my goal. I'm looking for something for me, but I want to give something to him. And if I tell you about this, it's because I just want you to have a piece of it. I want you to understand how rare it is to have an opportunity like this in our area. And so that is why I'm doing it. And um, so if you've been wondering why I am yet again um, jumping into another direct sales business, it's because those brought me to this point. Those other ones gave me the knowledge to recognize a very good opportunity when I see it. And just like Neil said, ah, Gary, you're so funny. <laughs> yes, I mentioned your name. Neil says, busy people like me have no other opportunity, limelight or bus baby. It's the truth. What other business, if you have an entrepreneurial mind at all, what other business can you get into where you don't have to have a skill set, you don't have to have a degree, you don't have to put up like thousands and thousands of dollars up front to get into it, and you can work it part-time or full-time or however you need to to make it work for you, right? I mean, it's, it's so smart. I have no overhead. I don't play empl pay employees. I mean, I, you know, it, it's the smartest form of business that you can have. You work it right alongside your job like Neil does. Neil is a busy, busy, busy nurse. She runs a surgery center. She saw a golden opportunity and she jumped on this because she has also been involved with direct sales companies. But, and when you have, and then you see something like this that comes along that only has 3,000 people across the United States. I want you to compare that. Okay, Unique has over 500,000 presenters. 500,000. We have 20, well, 3,000. We have 3,000 little men and women working this business now because they all see it as an opportunity because they want in on the beginning. And I have seen, I just got back from convention and I have seen women at the top of this company who never put a lick of makeup on their face before. They never did. You don't have to love makeup to do this business. You don't have to. Men are doing this business. They don't wear makeup. We have skincare too. They see an opportunity. And I want to share that with everyone. I want you to know that it's here. And I want you to know that nobody in our area is doing it except for me and the people on my team. It's huge, huge. And you can do this with your full-time job because you can work it part-time. And, um, and you can build a very, very successful business. So... That is why I'm doing it. And um, if anybody ever has any questions, please ask me. It's extremely affordable to get involved, um, to, to start your own business. I mean, it costs $169. You get a whole bunch of makeup. You get all the tools you need to create a business. You can't do that. You can't do that with any other business. Direct sales is it. And this company has gone places, you guys. It has 65 years of experience and integrity. It's very different from a regular direct sales company that starts direct sales and creates a product to sell. This company has been around since 1952 and they finally decided it's time for regular women to use this makeup so they created a direct sales path to get it out to everyone and now we can create businesses with it. So if you're interested, if you have any questions about the business part or you have any questions about the makeup, please get in touch with me and I can answer any of those questions. And don't hide from me. Don't hide, that's not necessary, right? I promise, I'm not gonna be mad. <laughs> I'm offering you a gift. This is a gift I'm offering you. So if you don't wanna take it, that's totally fine. But I hope you guys will support my business and continue following my page. And stay tuned because I have a very exciting announcement to make very, very shortly. Okay, y'all go have a great hump day and I'll talk to you soon. Mwah.